Hey guys, I'm back to read y'all another story. Today we're actually going to be going on a scavenger hunt with Minnie, Mickey, and the rest of the gang. One beautiful spring morning, Minnie woke up to find a surprise waiting for her. Someone had slipped an envelope under her front door. What could this be, Figaro? Minnie asked. She opened the envelope and pulled out a note. Why, it's a secret scavenger hunt, Minnie cried. And look, the first item on the list is a picnic basket. Minnie opened the closet and pulled out a soft blanket. She also took out a large basket. I can use this to carry everything, she said. Placing the blanket in the basket, Minnie waved goodbye to Figaro and headed outside. Minnie checked the list again. Item number two, three cucumbers, she read. Minnie knew just what to do. She went to her garden and chose several of the big green vegetables. Adding them to her basket, she went to find the next item on her list. Hmm, said Minnie, a stick as tall as I am? There's only one place to go for that. Minnie turned and was headed for the woods when she ran into Goofy. Hiya, Minnie, <laughs> Goofy said. What are you doing? Minnie was about to show Goofy her basket when she remembered that the scavenger hunt was a secret. Then she noticed that Goofy was hiding some blueberries behind his back. Maybe he was a part of the scavenger hunt too. I'm just out for a walk, Minnie replied finally. I'll see you later, Goofy. And with that, she hurried off into the woods. Soon, Minnie had found the third item on her list. In the distance, she heard rushing water. I wonder what that is, Minnie said, and she went to find out. A few minutes later, she came upon a stream. Nearby was a patch of green plants with red peeking out from underneath. Minnie bent down to examine them. Strawberries, she exclaimed. These are the next item on the list. Minnie picked the strawberries and added them to her basket then she checked her list again. The next item was five smooth stones. The stream is a great place to find smooth stones, Minnie said. Minnie left her basket on the shore and waded into the water. In no time, she had found five smooth rocks on the stream bed. Minnie had only one item left on her list, a yellow flower. But as she looked around, she realized she was lost. She had wandered too far into the woods. Minnie walked in one direction for a while, but somehow she just ended up back at the brook. Oh no, she said. I'll never finish the scavenger hunt if I can't get out of the woods. Suddenly, Minnie spotted something on the ground. Blueberries! Goofy was picking these. Some must have fallen out of his bag. Minnie realized. If I follow them, they should lead me back to the path and out of the woods. Minnie followed the trail over a log, through a bush, and under a heavy branch until finally she found the path and a patch of daffodils. A yellow flower, Minnie cried. That's the last item on my list. Minnie picked one of the flowers and added it to her basket. Then she happily skipped down the path. As she arrived at the park, Minnie saw her friends appear with their own baskets. Surprise, Mickey said. I left each of you a list of items to collect. Now we can combine them and have a party. Minnie smiled as she and her friends got to work. She laid down her picnic basket. Donald tied balloons to a nearby tree. Daisy got out a vase, and the friends all added the flowers they had picked. Finally, Mickey cut up the berries and vegetables for a delicious lunch. The five friends played in the park for the rest of the afternoon. Donald used Minnie's stick to hit the piñata Mickey had brought.
Minnie and Daisy played hopscotch with Minnie's stones and Daisy's chalk. And Goofy made a funny hat from Donald's newspaper. It was a wonderful party and the perfect spring day. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed going on that scavenger hunt with Minnie and the rest of her friends. I know I enjoyed going on it with you all. And here are some scavenger hunt lists for you guys to try, either inside or outside. 